Hello Jenny, belated welcome to GRA 220. This will be some video feedback for you on Milestone 1, uh, the print ad. If you need anything in the next four weeks, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, Jenny, uh, this is the PDF um, and I'll, I'll open up the Illustrator file in a moment here. I just wanted to look at this in its entirety. Um, you have a nice collection of ingredients. What I like about your photos is that they have the same sort of sunstruck quality, or at least these three do. Um, I think maybe this is redundant. You probably don't need that photo. And I like the hibiscus silhouette. Um, think about maybe overlapping it. I would avoid using bars or banner, uh, bars or I guess stripes if you can. Wherever possible, make your images bleed off the sides. As, as does this one. Um, and I like the uh, label idea. Uh, several other people have used that. Um, the drop shadow, you know, makes it, gives it some three dimensions, as does the hibiscus. You might play with a scale of hibiscus, um, and we'll see what, when we get to your illustrator file, <clears throat> maybe I'll show you. Be very careful about running type so close to the edge. Um, and this type, it looks odd to me. For example, the O here looks small. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a zero. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, uh, just check it out. Move it back from the edge. Remember, magazines are trimmed. So uh, realistically, this would probably be trimmed off. I would say, you know, leave at least maybe a quarter to a half inch from the edge just to be comfortable. Um, and capitalize on that sunstruck quality, I think. Um, perhaps maybe have this image bleed off the top as well as the sides. Jenny, when I try to open your file in Illustrator, I'm getting prompts uh, saying that there are linked images <clears throat> that are missing. So uh, it's really important. Here we go. Here we go again. It's really important to know how to um, embed your images so that I don't get this these messages. See, after uh, you were able to successfully import the, the silhouette, and you know that uh, an image is embedded if it doesn't have an X through it. All these others have an X through them. So um, just to remind you, <clears throat> in order to embed an image, you go up under File, Place, and then make sure I'm just going to arbitrarily place something here. Make sure that this box is not checked, okay? By default it is. You don't want that because that will link it. I mean, it is, uh, well, frankly, a stupid part of the Adobe interface to bury this important link down there. So anyway, I'm going to, uh, going to place an image. Um, now, you know that it is, um, this is huge, by the way, that it is embedded when it does not have an X through it. You know that an image is linked if it has an X through it. Okay, so embedded, linked. Embedded, linked. Yeah. If the resolution warrants it. And look how nice it looks, you know, overlapping that solid. Uh, you really wouldn't need much more, I don't think. Um, than what you, in terms of ingredients. And, you know, perhaps not, um, now that I'm looking at it, you know, perhaps not have this film strip style board at the bottom. Anyway, uh, just some suggestions for you. <coughs> um, watch your margins, and good job, though. I really like the silhouette with the drop shadow. I'm going to end it here. <coughs> uh, again, if I haven't covered anything, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Good job, Jenny.